This is who y'all wanted. You are now watching what greatness is all about. I'm going to do my best to solve this one. Viewers, y'all know who this is. This is the legendary, the mystical, the iconic one, the purple one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Prince. Born Prince Rogers Nelson. My dude was born in Minnesota. I don't like Minnesota, but we love Prince. Our king and prince was taken away from us April 21st, 2016. Now, before I come out swinging, and I'm going to be passionate with this one, I'm going to show you some of my dude's accolades and talk about some of his accolades. My guy, 39 studio albums. 167 nominations, 32 awards won, seven Grammys, a Golden Globe, and an Oscar. Won three Grammys in one night with the Purple Rain album, seven British Music Awards. He was winning awards all over the UK had the highest grossing tour in 2004, selling $1.4 million of tickets for the tour. I believe that was the Musicology Tour. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Man, as far as musical talent goes, just off sheer talent, I think he was the best. And it shouldn't be no argument. Did you know this man played 27 instruments on his first album? This dude was so great, but his talent and his arrogance just rubbed people the wrong way. You know your arrogance is a step above anybody's when you rub Rick James the wrong way. Rick James gave Prince a shot to open up for him on tour after the Rolling Stones kicked him off tour because he was outshining the Rolling Stones. That's hard to do. Both were cocky. Both were arrogant. Y'all know this didn't go well. Both cocky, arrogant, and flamboyant. Tell you the truth, Prince was kicking Rick James's butt, but he had to work for it because Rick was killing him on tours that he off asked Prince to open up with him, and they didn't even remember Prince when Rick James got out there. But something happened to where Rick got jealous and started hating on him because they started becoming rivals on and off the stage. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I'm not mistaken, Rick James created the Mary Jane girls. Y'all remember them. Prince fires back and creates Vanity Six. Prince creates one of my all-time favorite bands, The Time. And Rick, I don't know what he was thinking about when he did this, but Process in the Do-Rags was created by Rick James. That was an interesting decision. Rick was jealous, and he even admitted it. He was making Rick work, even in passing. They were competitive. Prince outlived Rick by one year. Rick was 56 when he passed away. Prince was 57 when he passed away. They both even had an episode on the Chappelle show. I'm going to stop it right there because I don't want to make this too long, but I need y'all to repost and share if you don't want to uh, like or comment, repost and share. Part two coming up. You don't want to miss it.